What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Cool with Cool Kicks. We are back for another video. Trying to provide you guys updated information and breaking news regarding the outlets. So let's get right into it. For those of you guys that are local to Los Angeles, uh, Southern California area, uh, we do have a new Nike retail shop that did open. Nike retail shop in the Delamo Mall did open. I believe it was a day or two ago. So they are ready for business. Y'all should be able to hit them up. Um, I don't really know if they had any opening deals. I don't know what opening day was like. I wasn't able to uh, hit them up because, uh, you know, I've been busy. I've been busy. I, uh, my back's uh, been having all kinds of issues and stuff. So I'm gonna be honest, I really haven't been out and about like I normally am. But they are open and ready for business. So go check them out, see what's up. If you guys see anything dope there, make sure you guys let me know. And I don't know, hopefully I can make it out there <laughs> within the next day or two. All right, let's get more into the national news, you guys. This one is gonna affect each and every one of us, especially if you're a Kyrie fan. You know, this is big news. We all know that Kyrie did end his relationship with Nike, or Nike ended it with Kyrie, whatever, vice versa. Um, Kyrie is no longer a signature athlete for Nike. And we all know that Nike is working on getting rid of his sneakers. We have a hard deadline now. We do have a hard deadline. I was told that May 31st, Nike will no longer be selling Kyrie's at all. Right now, I've been told that all of the Kyrie's right now are making their way to the clearance stores. Um, you know, I've, I've, I've been told that all the outlets have been instructed to send them to the clearance stores. But there's only a few days left. There's only a few days left, so who knows if that'll happen. Um, Apparently, there is a hard deadline of May 31st being the last day that Nike will be selling the Kyrie lines. Of course, this does not affect the retail shops, does not, does not affect uh, Foot Locker, uh, JD Sports, Shoe Pals, all that stuff. Uh, not that I know of. Not that I know of. Maybe it does. But, um, but yeah, if you are a fan of the Kyrie's, I definitely would hit them up. Uh, make sure you guys go to the clearance store. Maybe they have them out there outlets, but what I've been told is that all the regular Nike outlets have been instructed to send all their Kyrie, uh, Kyrie sneakers to the clearance stores. So that should be where you find them. But you know, there's only a few days left. So maybe some of the Nike outlets weren't able to send them over. Maybe they still have some, I don't know, but they are being priced to go they are being priced to go they are hella hella cheap i did buy these bad boys yesterday i bought a size 10 and um you know i didn't see any sizes for me but i did buy a size 10 bought this for uh family member i've been buying a lot of stuff for family members and yeah grab these for 25 bucks 25 dollars 130 dollar shoes go for 25 bucks um i figured um one of the nephews can use this for uh outdoor hoops um, but yeah, 25 bucks, man, 25 bucks. I did see a size, was it like a size 15 or something like that? I think it was a Kyrie 6. When I say it was a Kyrie 6, those bad boys were priced at $20. So um, they're getting rid of all the Kyries. They are pricing them to go. They are clearing the hell out of them. So if you guys like Kyries, if you guys like his sneakers, go ahead, check them out. If you don't, it, it, it is what it is. But, uh, but yeah, definitely go check out those bad boys. Try to hit up the clearance stores. Um, like I said, if, if you don't have a clearance store, try hitting up a regular Nike outlet. Maybe they might have them. Um, but who knows? Who knows? So like I said, 531, May 31st, Wednesday is the last day that Nike is going to be selling these Kyries. Like I said, I don't know if this affects the retail shops. Um, I don't know what they're going to do with the, the stuff that doesn't sell. Maybe they might fleece them out to Burlington, Ross. I don't know. I don't know. But, but you can get them right now with, I guess with no box top. But yeah, you can't get them without a box top. 25 bucks, pretty freaking cheap, pretty freaking cheap. If you need basketball sneakers, man, that's probably the move right now. And then we have breaking news regarding the clearance stores. Uh, some of you guys already know this. If you guys have been to the clearance stores within the last week, you probably know this, but they have had major, major, major changes. Big changes. And it's, I don't know, it's good news, it's bad news, um, it's bittersweet, I don't know, I don't know. Um, it's definitely not good news for the resellers, because, um, yeah, the prices have gone up, prices have gone up. Pretty much Jordans, uh, LeBrons, uh, you know, anything that's priced over $200, 
Um, they're gonna be over 100 bucks now. Uh, for the last, I, I wanna say two, three years, I, I wanna say for about three years, the last three years, um, the clearance store, nothing was priced over $100. That's kind of the way it's been. But now, they are bringing prices back up. They are bringing prices back up. Um, historically, before, Historically, before the pandemic, um, you know, things were over $100, and then they'd have 20% off sales, that type of stuff. Um, and, and I think they're going back to that. I think they're going back to that. We haven't seen too many 20 30% off sales recently. We've seen two this year. But that's not bad, because for two years, we didn't have any. So uh, maybe they're starting to come back. I don't know. I don't know. I think they're kind of working out the pricing scheme. Um, it's an interesting time for them to do this, because the sneaker market is dropping quite a lot. I'm like, where was this years ago? Where was this two years ago when the sneaker market was sky high? You know, reselling was was like at a level that's never been before. Why did they raise the prices back then? And then things would have been easier for most of us to get. But lately, Nike seems to be behind the eight ball right now. They, they seem to be reacting more than actually um, figuring things out and setting trends, that type of stuff. The pricing scheme of everything being under $100 is no longer there. So it seems to depend on the MSRP and um, I don't know, maybe their perceived value or uh, demand, I don't know. The LeBrons that I, d I saw, the normally two bills, I saw them down to what, 160 I believe. The Jordan 6 that I did see, those were normally two bills. Those went down to what, 160, something like that. The Jordan 2s that I did see, I think those usually are 175 ish and those were down to 140 so um prices are gonna vary to be honest it seems like the nike factory store some of their prices might be a little bit lower from now on especially when you do get that 20 30 percent off sale uh we'll see we'll see we're gonna have to monitor to see if uh the nike clearance stores get that back but like i said a couple weeks ago we did see the 20 30 percent off i think the whole point of of nike reacting and nike doing this is to cut down on the resellers uh this move did come from headquarters this wasn't just a local thing at my stores i've been hearing from a bunch of you guys from different parts of the country that hey you guys have been seeing that as well so it's not just a local thing uh if you have a nike clearance store next to you um i'm 99 sure all of them are gonna have this pricing scheme now um, I'm curious to see how it affects the resale thing. Um, I haven't seen too many campers there. The last time I went there, I saw no campers at all. Uh, the time before, I did see a couple campers, so I'm curious to see how that works. Uh, even the Air Force and stuff like that, I did see Air Force One, and those were priced at $90. Historically, those have always been $50, so it seems like they're adjusting their price to kind of make it where, hey, the regular consumer can get them, but the, it won't entice the resellers to get them, so it's kind of interesting. Um, their prices might fluctuate. It might take some time for them to figure things out, but it is definitely interesting. It does seem to be a very targeted move to stop the resellers. They have haven't really made any moves like this uh, regarding the factory stores the Nike regular Nike outlet so I'm curious to see how that works you know I think a lot of the resellers that camped at the Nike clearance store and I think they're gonna be going to a lot more of the regular uh, Nike factory store so I'm curious to see what happens and how they react that type of stuff but um but yeah I think I think the clearance stores they finally made a move where Hey, they're trying to help the regular consumer, so so that's definitely going to be interesting. One thing I also forgot to mention, but I've talked about this on a regular basis for the last couple weeks. Uh, there is no heat card. There will be no heat card. Uh, all the uh, quote unquote heat items, uh, all the premium items, are going to go on the regular shelves. Uh, so uh, we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. An interesting thing, I did see the Vapor Max. Normally the Vapor Max are two bills. But I did see a pair of Vapor Max. Those are priced at 100 bucks. So, um, you know, I think it's gonna kind of depend on how the resale market does and and how how they continue to move items. I think if uh, Jordans and stuff like that, they tend to sit a bit long, a little bit longer. Maybe they might go down in price because that is what they do at the factory store. So, so we'll see. We'll see. We'll definitely keep monitoring the situation. Uh, I'm I'm very curious to see how this goes. Um, I did see a couple pair of Jordans, um, but yesterday yesterday and I, I did not cop because I was like, hey, um, you know, I, I, I can technically find better deals at the regular factory stores right now because if they offer 30% off, then we're going to be able to get those for 30% off and uh, $200 Jordans will be 140 and the Jordan 6s were priced at 160 at the clearance store. So uh, that's going to be interesting. You know, maybe that might move us to the regular factory stores a little bit more. That's definitely going to move the resellers to the factory store. So, so that's definitely going to be interesting. I think, 
out in the Southern California area. Uh, the Nike clearance store, I think all the resellers that go there, I think they're going to move on to some of the factory shops. So uh, hopefully Westlake isn't inundated. Hopefully Camarillo isn't inundated. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Let me know what information you guys find at the clearance store as well as the factory stores. And hit me up on Instagram, man. Hit me up on Instagram. Um, I, I definitely get as much information from you guys as I provide to you guys. So, so it's definitely interesting. But yeah, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Thank you so much for making it to the end. Make sure you guys let me know this video is useful. I'm curious to see what you guys think. But yeah, let me know in the comment section what you think. And uh, got plenty coming, you guys. Uh, thanks so much for watching. Uh, make sure you guys help with it. Make sure you press that like button if you're new to the channel. Press that subscribe button. Click on that notification bell. Got plenty, plenty, plenty of videos coming. Got two today. Hopefully one or two tomorrow. We'll see. But yeah, I got plenty of videos coming. See you guys next one. Peace. Happy hunting, fools. Kyrie is no longer an... Uh, they've all been instructed to, to send them all to... Uh, the Jordan 6s that I did see, those were... The whole point that I... Let me know what information you guys find at the clearance stores.